Today we have a review of St. John's number 77 cologne. This product was sent to me. This is a brand sponsored video, but all the opinions will remain my own. So without further ado, let's jump right into the review. Yo, what's up guys, Simon here, welcome back to another video. Today, like I said again, we have St. John's number 77 cologne here. This one, to me, uh, let's just jump right into the smell. This one to me is a very, very simple fragrance with a little bit of that old school cologne type touch. When you smell this, first thing you're gonna notice is that you're gonna notice a lot of citrus. A lot of citrus, and the citrus in here is very reminiscent of a very gentlemanly, old school, um, older cologne type of fragrance. In the backbone of this, you're gonna get a lot of this kind of very lightly touched warm amber and musk. So it's very much, if you can really imagine the fragrance, this, this is the whole entirety of the fragrance, by the way. So you get a little bit of a citrus up top and you get a warm amber and musk in the base. And that's basically the whole fragrance. It smells absolutely reminiscent of like an eau de cologne type of thing, or maybe like an old school aftershave. It has a really nice kind of clean, gentlemanly vibe about it. No one's gonna not like it when they smell this one off you. It just smells just, again, very nice and clean. There's nothing wrong with a fragrance like this. The only thing that I see a problem with this kind of scent is that is overly abundant. And me as a fragrance reviewer, I've smelled loads of fragrances that are quite similar to this or has a similar type of DNA. So this might not be the most unique DNA in the world, but it's not a bad scent. It's a pretty nice, decent, easy to wear, easy to enjoy scent. If you're looking for something that's really subtle, really clean with hints of that old school aftershave vibe, this one might be for you. And they do have a splash version of this bottle if you really wanna go to like the full old school vibe and just go with a splash bottle and just really like love it. <laughs> just love the vibe of using this fragrance all together. So yeah, they do have a, a splash bottle. I got a spray for obvious reason. I don't use splash bottles. But yeah, there's options to pick if you wanna go for the splash option. So the smell of this itself, for me personally, is one that I see myself maybe like wearing every once in a while I'll be honest with you that I might use this more as like a, if I'm going to like a high class meeting and I really can't risk wearing anything that's like too risky wearing anything that could offend the people across the room or offend anyone in that meeting I'll go with something like this because it's just really nice really clean, like I said, gentlemanly professional. It's just very easy to wear, very inoffensive, and I think the nostalgic vibe might win me over at some meetings. So <laughs> I wear this mostly in meetings or in situations where I want to wear something that is extremely safe, but still has a little bit of that old school nostalgic character at the same time. So in summary, this scent is a nice scent. It does have its positives, but it's not unique and that might be a big negative for some of you guys. It might not be a negative for some of you guys. It really um, it's up to your preference. But to me, in my opinion, it is an average scent at best. It's one that if you have in your collection, you will use from time to time, but um, you're not gonna super miss it if you don't have it, if you know what I mean. It is a good scent. Like I said, again, it does have its positives, but mm, it does have some shortcomings as well. So. It's more on the average territory. Next, we have the performance for this one. This one performs much like an old school aftershave. And if you've used old school aftershaves before, you know they don't last that long. <laughs> and this one is pretty much unfortunately in the same boat. It lasts on me, I would say, maximum around three to four hours max. And on the low end, I've gotten two hours from it, sometimes two or three hours. So this is one that you definitely need to just leave at your office. If you're gonna wear this one to work, just take this bottle with you, leave it at your office and just respray every time you go on break or something or every three hours or four hours, just reapply just to freshen up. So this one, yeah, it's not gonna be your strongest performer. It's one of those just, again, it has all the aspect of an old school fragrance. And when it comes to the aftershave department, it really doesn't last that long. The scent is kind of old school. But it's one that's, again, still nice. But just know that if you're gonna wear this fragrance again, I highly recommend you just leaving this bottle at the office to refresh. Otherwise, you're not gonna get a lot of hours out of this fragrance. It's definitely not gonna last you all day. So leave this one at the office to just reapply if you're gonna wear a scent like this. Next, we have the versatility. And since this one is in the gentlemanly clean professional department, you can wear this pretty much anytime at all. The only time where you might not wanna wear this fragrance is at the clubs or at the bars, simply because it doesn't project enough. Like the performance is a little bit too weak 
for that type of occasion. But for any other time, especially indoors, this fragrance is pretty versatile. In terms of season, I see this being more a summer or spring fragrance. It doesn't have the richness to be a fall and winter fragrance, so this one is definitely a summer or spring. Next, we have the price, and the price of this one, 120 ml, is $50, which is pretty decent for 120 ml. This is a pretty big size bottle. It is a decent price. It's a little bit on the slightly bit expensive side, for this kind of fragrance, but at the end of the day, you're getting a lot of juice and you're getting a fragrance that you can easily wear pretty much any time. And if you're into that nostalgic factor, you're really into the old school citrus, musk, and amber combination, very old school aftershave kind of vibe, and you want that in an easy to wear, easy to understand DNA in the modern time, then this one is a decent pickup for the price. All right, guys, that's it for this review of number 77, Cologne by St. John's. Thank you so much, St. John's, for sending me this for review. I highly appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and bye.